Here you are, Kelly. There's more coal ready to be loaded into this truck. Thomas and Friends, the online series. Series 3, Episode 2, The Rainboom Express. The rainbooms, well, although you couldn't see them really, had just finished their latest concert on the mainland and were looking forward to travelling home for the night. Wow, what a night that was! muttered Pinkie Pie as she climbed aboard one of the trucks. Now, Connor had to use trucks for this job because some of the coaches had been taken to the works. But with that, Connor blew his whistle and pulled out of the construction site. You may wonder, why is it a construction site here in, rather than a station? Well, that's because... They're working on a new station at the moment, some of the pack are. But anyways, Connor continued to pull out the station, but then there was trouble. Skiff, the railboat, was rolling down the track. He tried to brake, but it was too late. And Connor couldn't stop in time, and he crashed. Luckily, no one was hurt, but Connor had come off the track. James and Rocky were called from the Sodor Search and Rescue Centre to help with the accident. Oh dear, Connor, I hope you'll be all right, said James, looking at him. No, I don't know about this, muttered Connor, but all of the rainbooms climbed off of the trucks and they had to find a new way of transport from now on after they finished their concerts. First, they went to try and ask Merlin, who had somehow been sitting on the same track waiting for his truck to be loaded with coal. Ah, sorry everyone, replied Merlin, but I'm very busy at the moment. You'll have to find another way of transport. Then they tried going over to ask Patrick. Ah, oh, no, I'm afraid I can't help at the moment, said Patrick, pouring his next lot of cement in the foundation. With that, the rainbooms left the construction site and went to try at Tidmouth Sheds, which was currently under maintenance at the moment, having a new turntable installed. Thomas, asked Adagio Dazzle, do you think you could be our new way of transport? Oh, I'm afraid not, said Thomas sadly. Oh, I guess that's fair enough, muttered Fluttershy as they all walked away from Tidmouth Sheds. Then they decided to go and ask Dolly. Ah, no, I don't think so, she replied. The rainbooms were very disappointed and they walked back. But they heard a voice. Hello? Everyone stopped and stared. Where was the voice coming from? I'm over here, came the voice. Everyone went over to investigate and they saw... An engine under there. The engine hadn't been in action for days. And with that not long taken, they started to get to know each other. My name is Daniel, replied the engine. Hmm, I think I could help you. Everyone agreed and they all called help to get Daniel out. But... With that said, they tried pulling him out. At last, Daniel was free. Oh, thank you, everyone, said Daniel. Dolly was surprised. Oh, my goodness, Daniel. Is Wait, how do I know your name's Daniel? Ha <laughs> ha, laughed Daniel. Hello, Dolly. Nice to meet you. How do I know your name's Dolly, though? Hoo, hoo, hoo. 
Anyways, the creator of this series is trying to bring the steam team up to 12 engines. So how would you like to be an engine joining the steam team? Oh, I'd love to, replied Daniel happily. And I'd be happy to help you with your concerts. And we could even have some travelling concerts. Everyone agreed that Daniel could be really useful. So, with him rescued, he went off in the distance and he was gently lowered onto the track. Wow, I feel good as new, said Daniel. Well, I feel good as new already, though, I should have said. Hmm, I think I ought to go to the steamworks for a fix if there's one. With that... The rain booms attempted to get Daniel moving, and he just did. And not long after, Daniel came out the steamworks as good as new, ready to start his new life with the steam team and to start helping out up the rain booms. <laughs>